That's definitely Reaper tech. But what's... Shepard Commander, help us. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more modded Mass Effect 3. This is Hill. As you can see, we are in the Milky Way galaxy, and we just completed the Ark mod in the Apian Crest in our last episode. It was really an exhilarating mod, and I have to really compliment the mod author for putting together I mean, such an amazing mod. I mean, you get to fight the collectors with Shepard and his crew. That, that I tell you, amazing. Great job. We're moving on now from Apian Crest to our next story arc mission in the Perseus Vale to disable the Dreadnought. Let's go. All right, here it is, the Geth Dreadnought. And I'm really surprised though that Tally was not part of the uh, Citadel DLC because we met with her and she was on board. I'm, I'm wondering if I had to complete these missions first before she actually could have been part of the Citadel. But anyhow, here we are. All right, let's stop. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Nice to meet you, Sparks. Sparks? Yeah, you've got lights and you're... Uh, and you're kind of small and jumpy. It just came out. If you say so. Shepard, there's a problem. All teams except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Or more. Let's see. Uh, it's been a minute since I did this. Ah, there we go. Take it was Rannoch. So with no gravity and mag boots, can pretty much walk in any direction where there's plating. It's 
pretty good sighting. The lack of gravity is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Until then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Get don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. When Big are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. through that other opening over there where it looked like there was some ammo but I don't think I need any right now whoops side is that I don't have any ammo powers because James is not here and I hope I made the right choice of bringing James because there's going to be a lot of machines I probably should have brought somebody else that has overload Trouble, Commander? All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. All right, so we have an arc pistol. It's Admiral Zem's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. Sounds like the right tool for the job. Time to kick some synthetic ass. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Ugh, vents. Always the vents. <laughs> you did fine at the collector base. I got set on fire! Yeah, she seems traumatized. Alright, James. Incendiary ammo. Okay. Let's go, people. That's their guardian system. They're using ultraviolet frequencies, not infrared. That's a lot more expensive. And a lot more powerful. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. You know, I've always wondered why they give Tally a shotgun. 
Because, I mean, she doesn't have a lot of armor, and it's not really safe to, to do. I want right you to away. use a pistol. James, hook her up. There we go. I mean, it gives her a little bit more range. You know, James can use the shotgun, because he's got all the armor. Energy drain overload combo. What do you think, Commander? Disable their shields. Then take them down before they recharge. This is just credits. I thought this might have been some information that we could have used. Let's go. Alright, we're getting close to the operations center. Uh, and an Archon visor. Okay. And what's this? Look, the signal's hitting all gas processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. We've tried jamming it, hacking it, and piggybacking garbage data to corrupt it. Nothing worked. And I'm just wondering, why is James not wearing any sort of uh, helmet or breathing apparatus? Maybe he's a lot tougher and different than we've imagined. The Dreadnought Operation Center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Oh, they're the cloaking. Oh, and I saw Tally use sabotage. Nice. Carnage. Tally, you see him? Watch out! We still got close hostile. That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. See, now here's my dilemma. I put the game. Whoops! Ow! Oh! Ow! I put the game back on normal from hardcore from you know the the DLC and stuff that I was doing because apparently there is a difficulty spike uh, you know with the Citadel DLC and you know hardcore was too hard but now that we're on normal back in the regular game normal is too easy we'll see about t putting it back up but for now Okay, Tally, for, for yeah, now, down the Reaper signal. We'll, we'll go with normal. Down from here in the operation center. 
there. The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait. If I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got the prime. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gap on the other side of the doors. Watch it! Coming in from the ceiling! There could be smoke hunters as well! Oh, sorry, Tally. You sabotaged him. All right, people, keep your eyes out, open. They brought friends. Here's a cloak, man. Energy drained him good. Now, see, she's oops. She's using her ability. Was it? Okay. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere. Hmm. All right, let's keep moving. This ship design is almost Quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Reminds me of that collector ship I blew to hell. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Just don't let them put you behind a desk. All right, well, James is working out with the incendiary ammo. It does allow me to combo with all of my crew because everybody's firing those bullets. So I guess that was a good, good plan. is something else. Alright, so we're going to the right. And we'll just have to wait it out with this, these pulses. Geth are immune to the shockwave for whatever reason. Cover. 
Oh, invisible ones. Tally, you can't target them, can you? Put a drone out. Hey, I was in cover. Really? Of course. After I made it a point, well, I guess I didn't give her the other buff. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where is it? We'll be with you when we can. Alright, I guess we can go down this way. You don't have to use the the ladder. There it is, Commander! Let's shut this thing down! Where is it? Okay, it's across the way. Let's wait for the next wave. I don't know what that explosion was, but anyway. Tally's back. And we deactivated the core. Fire now, boys. Let's move. Oh. Oh. Come on, let's get out of here. bearings. Okay, we're going this way. Take cover, James. That's not a good spot, but I think you guys are immune to those blasts, too. I hope. Oh, come on, is it coming now? Ow! Ow! Oh. Wait. She sabotaged both of them? All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't tell where the the enemies are. All right, so we're going forward here and down this ladder. Let's wait for the next blast.
up top. Alright people, this way, follow me. Just close on me and oh tally okay oh they made both of them made it through oh we can't save let's keep going all right I think we're done with those blast waves Be far. Uh, it's above us. How do we get up there? Is there an elevator? I'm, I'm ladder. This is what I meant. Ladder. Let's take the ladder. All right. We got our meta gel back. Still can't save. That's definitely Reaper Tech. But what's Commander, help us. Legion. You know this thing? Yes. It helped me fight the Collectors. It's on our side. Sure about that, Commander? I trust Legion. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes. Deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No. You successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Hmm. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. Yes. <sighs> Got it. Tully's order complete. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. <laughs> Oh no. 
What is that, a juggernaut? Put our drones out, Tally. One dreadnought down, drug or not, whatever that thing is. Oh no, we're no leapfrogging over the equipment. What are you doing? Ron, check your screens. The dreadnought is helpless. No barriers, and the main gun is offline. We can remove their flagship and strike now. Damn it! This is our chance to withdraw the civilian fleet safely. What are you talking about? We're still on board. We can't waste this chance. Heavy fleet on four. Hmm. Tally, let's have some sabotage in the rear. Got a juggernaut coming my way. It's a Geth Prime. Okay. That's it. Come out into the open. Um. Alright. We'll go with Energy Drain. Carnage. Overload. Shields are gone. Alley. Sabotage. All right. Good work, people. Legion. Go then. Oh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Um. Which way now? Here we go. Will we? No! Oh! The whole damn thing! 
rig's coming apart. Shepard Commander, we can only launch from the upper level. Let's go! The bay door is closing! Double time, people! All right, we're here. We'll that James can breathe in, in space in the vacuum. Fine. We're leaving in a gas fighter, transmitting rendezvous coordinates. Does the storage compartment have adequate room, Shepard Commander? We're fine. Go. Pretty seamless. They fired on the dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. Hmm. Okay, I really don't agree, but since he's playing as a paragon, I agree. You did the right thing. Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the heavy fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Bush oh, Dent. no. You Bush must Dally. understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corey sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. No. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila, I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. All right, got our 
credits and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's see what comes up here. Geth Fighter Squadrons, Admiral Chorus, Rannoch, Miracle at Palavin, Krogan Clans, what do the Krogan have to do with this? Rannoch again? The Miracle at Palavin. Alright, so we have a distress signal. Let's go ahead and listen to that. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. Ron? The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, it. they could have wiped us out. His name is Legion, and he's on our side. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? Patrol fleet. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Civilian fleet. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Chorus commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Who has the largest fleet? Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. Mm, that's crazy. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrickson. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. <laughs> and in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. All right, tell me about the heavy fleet. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Quirian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. And let's talk about Admiral Zen. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. <laughs> She's unstable. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. Mm, all right. Shepard should go. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. And on that note, we will end the episode here, and we will continue with our quest to save the Quarians. This is Hill, and I'm out.